Welcome to modern day endurance racing. This is being raced as if it was a sprint race. They're going to win the Rolex 24 at Daytona. And everyone has said it's going to get intense, and we're seeing it right now. There's a long, long way to go, but these guys want the lead of this race in the baddest way. Pull down the belts just maybe one or two more times. Side by side across the line. Cadillac and Corvette win at Long Beach. It's tight, it's twisty, it's technical. It's the Mid-Ohio Sports Car Course. I'm loving the atmosphere IMSA have brought here with this festival. We're just outside downtown of Detroit. The orders at the start of the year were win the championship and win the Detroit Grand Prix. Welcome to one of the most famous racetracks in the world, Watkins Glen International. Great weather, fantastic racing, wheel to wheel. Competition is hot as well as the weather here. This is a fast circuit, meaning no slip-ups if you want to be in championship contention. A mile and a half track that tests every metal, every fiber of the drivers and teams. Welcome to America's Nürburgring. Great history, great racing behind us, and great racing in the now and the future as well. A huge crowd of GT enthusiasts it's tricky, it's challenging, and the drivers absolutely love it. This track is one of the epics on worldwide motorsports. It's a drag race, we've seen this before! Renga van der Zander has got through! A finale is always something to celebrate. Mortal Petit Le Mans. It's 10 hours, not 10 laps here. That's a mindset. These are golden days indeed for IMSA and for endurance racing in North America. It's time, let's go sports car racing.